more plug plates. So basically, these plug plates were originally used on SDSS, and instead of throwing them away, we're upcycling them into um, a way to represent redshift to those who are visually impaired. Each one of these holes has a value of redshift because each one of them is associated with a star, a galaxy, and a quasar. Each one of these poles triggers a sound associated with that redshift value. So, as you can see, if you pull it here, you have a lower sound, it's pretty quiet. And then this one won't pull as far. Galaxy has a less of a redshift, has a higher tone. And so this is our first iteration of this upcycling of this plate. It's an extension of the Yerkes Upreach program and kind of keep it moving. And this is what we've done in a couple months. Where will this be installed? So basically we're just trying to reach out to schools. I think that's our end goal and okay. make it so it's easily transportable. What kind of tactile telescope do we? I think it's over at the poster. Yeah, so if you press down on each of these, try to order them by how easy it is to push down on it, from easiest to hardest. Okay. All right, I gotta, yeah. I gotta I'm test them. I'm getting them to test it. All right, I'm gonna go with this one's the easiest because the, the, oh, yeah, the key, no the key fell there. down. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that one's easiest. Yes. Then this one. Yes. Then this one. Yes. Then this one. Yes. Then this one. Amazing. Hey. Good, you got them all right. Good Yay. Job. The the constellation okay. one. You good? Okay. I'm good, yeah. So one of the things that we've learned with teaching astronomy to blind and visually impaired students like myself is that you have to teach a lot of really basic concepts before you can move on to the more advanced things. So one of the first ones is when we're observing, we look at the sky and it's a dome. Well, how do you explain that to a blind person? You give them an umbrella, which seems perfectly appropriate for being in Seattle. So I'm going to get seven years for this, but... We're looking at the outside of the umbrella right now, which has the constellations on it. Um, and these tags here are brailled representations of the RA. So you can move it around to show how the sky rotates and actually you can measure where you are with these brailled um, buttons here. Um, and then along the outside here, you have just the constellations. So you can show you know, how the stars connect and, and I don't think they look like anything that anyone says they do. So in the inside here, we've got buttons to represent the stars. And we've messed around with ideas of having them appear at you know different sizes or different shapes, but it's just got kind of convoluted and confusing. So just to demonstrate the stars themselves, we went with kind of this basic pattern so that you can reach up and you're literally putting yourself at the center of the dome and then you're able to reach in and touch the stars, literally. So this allows a lot of people with blindness or low vision, or just people who are kinesthetic learners, to have a better concept of what the sky looks like as a dome. That's amazing, it's an awesome demo. And Thank so, you. It's so portable too, which is brilliant. Okay, that was super cool. That tactile astronomy, that uh, visually impaired astronomy thing is super, super cool. And it's really exciting to see the work continue and, and some new innovations. Mm -hmm.